Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh my god! Yep, it's time. Can you beat Baldur's Gate 3 without taking damage? The rules are simple. If me or my main squad out of the four takes damage, I reset to my last save and every reset adds to the counter. However, throughout the playthrough, I will make one exception that you'll see later. We're gonna have to play strategically and pray to RNG Jesus for every encounter and every dice roll. Also, if you enjoyed this, leave a like. Naturally, we're gonna pick the hardest, Tactician, and we live our fantasies through the dark urge. I must resist the dark urge. Through sheer will, we'll overcome the dark urge's dice rolls. And we go sorcerer for field control. Now our little pog champ, No Hit, is ready to wake up and take on the world. Okay. Anyway, now he's ready. Huh? These failed rolls and this door opening up is a foreshadow of my pain to come. Our first step is to make a new racist friend. Who we share a special connection with. By putting our infected brains together, we fight the imps as the dynamic duo. This should be an easy fight. All we have to do is magic missile the two far imps and have Lazel finish off one and a half imp. That was a minor hiccup. And after running back the same plan, it's looking good. We're dodging. And... One more time. Lazel is dodging. And now we got this fight. That's it. This challenge is impossible, because no matter what I do, my team has to dodge at least a few of the imps attacks. Little did I know, if they dash, they can't attack again, and all that was left was to land my attacks. Okay, how about we just do that again, except smarter. We're good, so now we face the consequences of our failed dice roll. And then we rescue our mentally unstable damsel in a hot dress. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? You feel a shiver. It's nice watching my two pure soul maidens fight over who can win my affection. Kenyank. Now we clear this fight and we get to see who gets to enjoy living their fantasies of being a pilot. After touching the tips together, we crash land on a beach and find our emo girl unconscious. I believe in gender equality, and Shadowheart is a big girl who can do things on her own. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. But she was madly in love with me, so we ended up journeying together. So we find some loot, fight these tentacle brains, lose a few times, until we can finally have a successful brain surgery. Now let's get the team together. Hey look, a suspicious gentleman. He's trying to touch me! Luck is on my side. I'm sending this pale Shakespeare and Timothy Chalamet leotard back to the camp. Ooh, look at this beautiful specimen. Now we all know there is only one right decision here. Succumb to my tentacle hentai fantasy. But this challenge will not let me have true bliss. If I can't be happy, no one can. Time to find the next one. Hmm. Prank him, John. Oh, oh, yeah. Hello. I'm gay. With some clarity, and after looking at this guy, I remembered I have standards. So back to camp. Walking along this road, I began to miss my first companion. <laughs> it's time to save her from our tiefling brethren. <laughs> one minor reset back, but she ends up on her team, and we go for a dungeon crawl and get some loot. Only one guy? <laughs> that was easy. The rest is probably going to be a lot easier, right? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god. Also, if you're wondering, why am I using three people instead of a full team of four? Because I like the challenge. That is where you truly grow. Through failure. Also, this one did not have my consent. And this one is annoying. Oh my god. Oh, finally. One hour and 40 resets later? Not too bad. This fight taught me how to properly use stealth to set up my fights. And I can have one unit start the fight while the others stealth around for, begin for better b b b b positioning. Better positioning. Now for the good of the run and my mental sanity, I buried my hatred and pride. And I took the annoying wizard. Hi, Gail. Hopefully this changes things. Huh? Why do you keep getting hit by everything, Gale? Oh! 
world that ends oh, not as bad as it could have. Okay, recruit the skeleton, leave our underground escapade, and let's continue out on our journey. My tiefling brothers are struggling. Let's go help, because it looks like no one else is willing to lend a hand. Okay, here we go. The winning conditions are take out these two rangers, take out the caster in the middle, and let the allies take out the rest. What the fuck? This guy can throw a fucking spear! He's dodging everything. I don't kill him. My laser is gonna get hit, and I'll have to reset. Beautiful. My good deed is done, but it was almost invalidated by this human trash. Wait, 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 it, it kind of got on my mic. To balance my dark urges, it's time that we urge these two for peace. Enough. Now I talked to Grandpa Horns and he was telling me about the Druid Halsen. He could heal the tadpole that's infecting our brains. Let's go pay him a visit. Wait, there's something happening down there. My daughter, go right now! Hell spawn. Ragrashan! Being parasite. Okay, so this woman, these druids, and these humans <laughs> are racist towards me and my tiefling like people. You. A fiend makes for poor company, unless it's been stuffed and mounted on your wall. That's it. I can't take it anymore. Be free, little one. Now I will not tolerate any more acts of discrimination towards me and my P. <sighs> you and everyone here just hate my people. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Let's just get the information and go. Here are the goals now. Slay Will's inner demons Karlak. and find the Druid Halzen. Let's go. In the middle of finding the demon, we found Hagrid from Harry Potter. Mind the true soul. Now I see this as an opportunity to gaslight these cultists into getting me XP. After losing their brother to an owlbear attack, there's only one logical what? solution. Now we keep this gas lit. But first. A snack for the road? Whoa. Maybe my character can communicate with it. Nope. Okay, lucky dodge right here. I can beat this in the first round. No reset. 20 HP left and... Alright, that round and the seven other resets don't count. But we beat the mama owl bear. Oh. At least the baby will have a piece of her wherever they go. Turns out animals give a lot of XP, so all I gotta do is kill more of them to level up. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. Mm. There's death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, you should go. Okay, okay, maybe not this good boy right here. Alright, back to town. Goblins? Maybe this granny has a remedy for the tadpole. Oh, you're a saucy little spitfire, aren't you? Good. I like him that way. Alright, alright. One thing about this game is everybody either wants to fuck me or is racist. This is a sus invitation for milk and cookies. We'll deal with that later. Back to slay the demon. But first, we gain the ogre brother's trust. We'll use them for later. We have a deal, my tasty kibble and find out that Gale has an addiction to magical items on top of the tadpole. I've grown to trust you. Yup, every addict starts off with random compliments before they ask me a favor. So often I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item. Okay, for real this time, let's go kill the demon. On the way to go kill the demon, we find William Shakespeare. We sat down at his dinner table while he whispered sweet nothings and riddles. Turns out it was the devil himself, but like everyone else, I could fix it all like that. I declined his advances. Back to go killing the demon. Wait. See, my flesh becomes new flesh. Let's kill these hyenas first. You learned a swift strike against her skull. <laughs> this was one of the easier fights. All right, we're here. We're gonna kill Will's demon, the bane of his existence, his life mission to kill this de- <laughs> Wait. Oh, fuck me. Alright, alright, alright. Hear me out. Maybe. This demon's not that bad. What does Will have to say about this? Shut it, devil. 
I know your kind. I'm not what you think I am. No, I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. No, devils cannot be trusted. Shit. Okay, in conclusion, Will is racist, Carlac is just a barbarian tiefling baddie, and Lazelle's been replaced. Alright, let's test out how our muscle mommy does right now. The plan is to ice the floor, get them to slip, and Carlac can strike for free. Prioritizing the rangers before cleaning up the melee. Okay, 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 new strat. Use laughter and hold person. Nope! Nope! Alright, three resets later. Alright, Carlac is a useful asset. Next. The Archduchess will be delighted. You will not lay a finger. Okay, the play is like usual. Go for the range, then kill the swordsman. Using sleep was the key. Ah, shit. The enemy was onto my plan. I'm sweating. The gears of my brain returning. That's it. Use hold person. Unlike sleep, the paladin can't do anything to help the ranger. Oh my god, beautiful. Beautiful. GG. G fucking G. It was only right for Karlak to finish off the leader. Ho ho ho. She's free! Now she can go crazy. Nice. Wait. Wait. Hold on a second. If I touch the fire that she leaves over then... <sighs> Alright. Now she's for sure going to be on my full dream team. And nothing can make this any better. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. There's been a shift in priorities. Right now, saving the Druidhausen can wait. New important matters have come to my attention. Purely for the sake of our new team member, we were tasked with finding Infernal Iron. Luckily, there's one in the Goblin Village. Please let this work. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. That feels... Good. And now we can fu- uh, I mean, now Karlek is even stronger than ever. The, the, free, yeah, free. All right, back to going to save Halsey. Time to reach the goblin camp. And we're knocked out. Absolute, send us a message. There are three figures before you. An armored male elf. And here are the three kings from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter two, verses one to 12. They followed the star, held by a sussy clerk. Praise the dark lord. <laughs> Shadowheart is great. Not only is she emotionally unstable, she is a Shars witness. After being baptized with the hand of Shars on Holy Ghost, we walk into the Goblin's Focus Camp. Hey, look, this bard is popping off. Draw Raxlin, we pray, we. Come on, pigeon! Back to your cage! Yeah, you know what? I'll free him later. He might be useful. Speaking of cage birds, it's the orphan who ate his mama. Hell's fine. We'll just. Take the fat bird. Be free, fat bird. All right. Go on. Kiss more foot, or I'll kick your head in, on face. My intrusive thoughts are speaking to me. Just piss off. The goblin stares, mouth agape. Then he sets his jaw and falls to his knees. Alright, one more thing before going inside. Time to spike their drinks. First attempt I accidentally coated my weapon, but a couple tries later, it was good. And I showed this goblin she don't want the smoke. Okay, so in this part of the game, inside the castle, you have to fight three big baddies. Gut, Minthar, and Joe Ragslin. First, we'll handle Gut, but we're gonna outplay her real quick. My plan was to lure her into a false sense of security. Wakey, wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. She thinks that she's got me because I'm in chains, but my savior came. Tasty supper. All right, before I big brain the other two bosses, let's free the pigeon. <laughs> Look at this. 
I'm quite safe. And remember what I said in the beginning? This is the one exception where I will not reset by getting hurt. Never mind. By having our inner temptations beaten out of us, we get a permanent buff. However, since we're doing a no-hit challenge, this buff is useless. So you may be asking, why did I do this? This buff is a badge that symbolizes that this will be the only time I'll let myself walk around with pain in this moment right now. Now for the prep. We find a room with an explosive barrel stash. So loot all the barrels and save it for later. Time to take care of Vinthara. Here is the beginning of my new favorite spell, Cat Calling. Cat is a bait to lure people to it. Naturally, we use this opportunity on this evil draw baddie right now and send her into the shadow realm. But what about the goblins around her? Well, that was a good question. Just split up and push the goblins mid-conversation. Two down, one to go. So far so good. And now we gotta free Halsey the Druid. Hmm, I have an idea. Sit this up, and then play it out right now. All right, back to goblin pushing. And this is how the ending of this place went. Wait, the spiders are rebelling. Jor Ragslin. Hmm. That takes care of the goblins. So, where's my reward? When I look at you, I feel real again. Alive. Gods, I want to ride you till you see stars. Bus. Now before going into the Underdark, it's time we pay the hag a visit. I've clapped your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. Bollocks. Stinking and insidious assaults your senses. Set up a trap. Hey, Fight the hag. <laughs> the worst part isn't her running away. It's this cave right here. Oh my god! Oh no, 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 oh no! And now it's our rematch. But this time, she uses the Kagebushi no Jutsu and makes it into a 5v4. Hmm. Hmm. Idea. To the hells! To hell! But what if we tried to kill her normally? Yeah, you know what? Nah, I'm good. Where's my reward? You bastard! You ruined it! Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead! Say less! Bring him back! Bring Connor back! This spell didn't turn out like how I planned, but it's fine. At least she got her pet husband back. Come on, love. Let's go. Now hurry up to act two. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Climb down the ladder and remake it to the new area. The new camp. Which means new conversations. Tap, tap, stab. Sucks to be Gale right now. Now that me and Karlak got much closer, I will resist all those that try and tempt me. I had to come find you. You've... Well, inspired me. I want to stand on my own two feet. The body of that scared girl who asked for nothing more than a night of shelter. Leave camp and we're gonna start making our way through the Underdark. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> It's okay. 
As long as we walk around the spectator. <sighs> walk around spectator path. Avoid torch stocks. Anything else? Go, Mittens the Magic Kitten. That's right, you better run. Hey look, a magic tower. <laughs> now to get around this tower, we need to figure out how to deal with these turrets. Hmm. Ooh. Light bulb. Light bulb. Idea. Electricity. Electricity on the turrets. Alright, that's done. So now we can climb up, loot the tower. Hmm. Talk to this robot. Fuck this robot. Seems a bit self-indulgent to me. Of course, my love. His arms are too tight and too low for a comfortable hug. Remember, you are lovely. Alright, I'm done with this tower. Off to the next area. Too loud, sun scum. Hmm? Ah, a purebred dog of war from that snarl. You can walk. I don't like their vibes. Told you, hunting. Slave ran away. Killed a slave and fetched back the leather. Turns out these racist dwarves have been harassing everyone else in the name of the absolute. Now it's up to me to air out the beach. <laughs> and with only one reset, it's not too bad. Where's my reward? I have another boon to ask of you. Ah. <sighs> More work to do. Now go across the water so I can kill this drow. But first, let's kill the fat one. I have heard the song. <laughs> now we voyage across the waters and find the homies of the dwarves we killed back there. In the name of Jesus! No reason to get your horns in a twist. Alright, so now let's figure out what's been happening in the forge. Deep gnomes killed under the yoke of slavers. Pray for those that have fallen before us. Really? Save your prayers for someone who at least had the spine to fight back. Not only do they enslave gnomes, they got to the goat. Yeah! That was easy. So let's make our way to near. And they whispered in our ear. Free feet! Anyway. Okay, Nier is trapped here behind a wall and the dwarves are trying to break him free. And we have to find this gnome at this part of the map for explosives to bust that wall open. First, let's go back and sell some stuff. And grab a starion. And we sneak by this dripping acid. Mmm, looks fine. Let's just run. There's danger, but they look pretty weak. We got this. Okay. Second thought, just sneak by everything, don't be greedy. And we should see, yup, the gnome with the bomb barrel. Wait, she's not here. Usually she'd be here right now, but hmm. It's good. Let's just go back, tell the other gnomes that she's gone. Oh, what the fuck? So, all my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All right, take the head and wait, we still cut it off? It's cool. Back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Now his flesh may feed its growth. They seem happy. Alright, let's finish exploring the area a bit and move forward. Finally through the elevator, only to meet <laughs> Professor Dumbledore. I had no choice but to feed him, but we find out more about Gale's lore. And Dumbledore, he was able to cast a spell for Gale, so that Gale can blow whenever he wants. That was quite magical. Ah, get ready for bed. Now we open the doors to the beginning of Act 2. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.